welcome back to Brie and Dev Adventures. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own peep plushies. And I know there are like a couple different designs for peeps, like one of them are chicks or like little birds and then they also have like bunnies and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bunnies because Easter is literally in a couple of days. Um, I'm probably going to upload this video like the day before Easter or on Easter. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right on into so the, the video. The materials you're going to be needing for this DIY are, of course, one sock and you only need one. You're also going to need either some puffy paint, I just have some like slick fabric paint here, or you can um, use like thread to just sew on the facial features. You're also going to be needing something to write with. I'm just using a sharpie because it's kind of hard to write on fluffy socks with like pencils or pens, but you can use whatever you want. And you're also going to need some scissors, and then you will need some needle and thread as well. You can All right guys, so as you can see, I'm back on the ground in my basement because we still don't have a table for the craft room, but that's okay. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, and this step is super important, is to make sure you turn your sock inside out. So this way, you'll be able to turn it back inside like the right way once you are done with it. Also, I just did my nails today. How do you guys like them? I don't know how I feel about them because I just wanted to try like a little something different. And you just want to make sure to fold your sock in half where the heel is poking out. I think this will give it uh, more room so you can, you know, make the ears because the ears are going to need to go pretty high up. And now I'm just going to trace it out the best I can. That is my peep sock plushie so far. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with the outline to be honest. Like I'm pretty impressed with myself and my abilities. But anyway, now all we're gonna do is either get a sewing machine or just, you know, sewing behind by hand and just sew around the outline that we created. And I try to maximize as much sock as possible that I can use without sewing. So yeah, we're not gonna cut out anything yet, just gonna sew it, and then I'll see you guys once I've sewn around all of my lines to start cutting things out. Guys, I'm really sorry that I forgot to include this in the materials list, but you'll also be needing some toy stuffing or something to substitute that, like a bunch of scrap fabric or something like that. But I've actually decided to sew this by hand because I realized that this, uh, the fluffy sock is super thick and it doesn't even fit under the foot of my sewing machine, so yeah. So I also thought that it would be nice to just kind of give you guys a tutorial in case you're completely new to sewing by hand as well. So basically all I'm going to use is a needle and thread and just go ahead and thread my needle, um, stick the thread right through it, and just kind of put it in half. So you should have two pieces of thread. I know it's kind of out of focus, but you, there should be two pieces of thread connected to your needle once you fold it in half. And then at the very end, you should just kind of tie it in a knot and I just did this by looping it around my fingers and you want to tie the knot as close to the end as possible but of course make sure that you leave some room so it doesn't go over and then I like to do this one more time and if you're wondering what length you should use I like to kind of use like a wingspan of the initial amount of yarn without folding it so basically I'm gonna take my little bunny here and I'm gonna start off right at the end right here basically you just want to go over and under it's really easy and yeah and I'm gonna continue to do this same stitch around all of the outline but one thing that you definitely want to do is make sure to leave an opening somewhere in the sock it doesn't really matter where um, I think I'm probably just going to leave the opening right along the side here because you want to make sure you leave it so you can stuff your plushie afterwards. Alright guys, so now I know you cannot tell at all, but this is all sewn up around the edges, but I did leave a little space right there so I can stuff it. And now all I have to do is just cut this out. And of course, like I say in every single plush video, Please, please, please make sure you know where your stitches are and do not cut directly on the line. 
cut like a centimeter or more away from it around the whole thing because especially if you cannot see where your stitches are it's so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out three two one Okay, so I'm sure that transition was absolutely horrible because I am the worst at transitions. Cool transitions anyway. But now it is all cut out and I think I'm super excited to turn it inside out to see how this actually turned out. I really hope that the um, shape of it turned out well. But yeah, now I'm just going to use my little hole and very carefully turn it inside out because socks are really fragile so be careful with this part all right guys so this is how my bunny is looking so far and as you can see it is kind of lopsided and yeah these ears they need some help so I'm really hoping that adding some stuffing into the mix will make things look a little bit better but now I'm just gonna grab a handful of stuffing and like I said before you don't have to use toy stuffing you can use other things to stuff it but now I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it until it is stuffed to my liking. Alright guys, so this is how my little peep is looking right now. As you can see, it is not perfect at all whatsoever. And I am still trying to get the stuffing kind of in places that I want it to be in. But as you can also see, the stitches kind of started coming out on this side, which just means that I didn't um, make them tight enough to begin with. So that is totally okay if that happens to you. And all you have to do is just restitch them. It's really easy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stitch up this hole that I have here. All right, guys. So this is what my peep plush is looking like now. I have all those parts sewed up so everything is good. I actually kind of like how it looks lopsided like this. I think it adds a lot of character and it just makes it look super duper cute. All there is to add is just a couple of brown dots, like three of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those to the face with my puffy paint like I showed you guys before. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I think that is about it for this plush. That is literally the finished product. This was definitely one of the easiest plushies that I've ever made. So again, if you're a beginner, perfect for you. I really like how it turned out. I think it is super unique and just a fun little DIY for Easter. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this DIY, well I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I know it's kind of hard to like see how it looks with the whole background that's kind of the same color because this is a really pale yellow, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to try this out for Easter or whenever. It is just super cute. I'm obsessed. But if you liked it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one. And once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And you can also comment down below any video suggestions or anything you want. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!